Bernard Mumford, uh, owner of Mumford Restoration, and we're here talking about a beautiful landscape painting that's by Paul Weber. So we are estimating 1850s or 1870s. Um, there are other Paul Webers that are similar, but this one does not have any distinction. Uh, there is one hash, uh, hanging in the National Gallery. So today we're talking about, well, what needs to be done? And obviously it needs to be disassembled from the frame. And the frame first will need some recasting. So we'll need to recast some of the chips that are in the guild. And we will try to remove some of the older repairs that have been made. And then we will be cleaning the guild, um, as we say, a tedious and slow cleaning. As much of the dirt and age off and then we'll be trying to treat it with non-acidic so that the guild can slow the entropy, as we say, to slow down the entropy of the guild. Then next would be the, obviously the cleaning of the painting. We usually take the corner that's hidden and we do a test cleaning and that's with a, a Q-tip and you know we start with the least severe product and we try to get a test and we say, hey, we can get some of the age, some of the nicotine off and then we proceed with the one that works best. So we'll be cleaning the entire painting. We have a little bit of in painting to do. There are no actual tears through the canvas, so we're uh, grateful that we don't have any patching to do behind, but we have some in painting uh, to produce here. And then once the in painting is done and everything is dry and we feel like that we are 100% as clean as we can get it, then we will be producing a new uh, conservation varnish and it will be brushed on with varnish and it will help the clarity so you can see the distinctions of the mountains better uh, particularly after the cleaning but also from the varnishing produces a, a magical result so the the slowing of the entropy is the key word here in other words the the frame is exceptionally good uh, the the painting itself you should have uh, another hundred years at least. And the most important factor in that is to keep it temperature controlled. And then to every 10 years or so to do a, a maintenance cleaning, um, you know, and possibly varnishing every 25 or 30 years. Sometimes that helps too. So uh, I hope that answers your question right. that we're looking to um, preserve, right? We're in the business of preservation and conservation. Wait, that's a great point. Excellent question. Because what happens is the the molecular breakdown of the varnish. So what we have is a really good high quality oil painting and onto uh, an excellent canvas where it gessoed it first. So you've got these beautiful layers, you know, the canvas and the gesso and the prep for him to paint it. Mm -hmm. So you have a very stable painting, but sometimes the molecular breakdown is on the very outside mm -hmm. surface, which can be in the varnish. And so that's a great question. The varnish can make a, a real difference to bring some clarity and also help to preserve and stabilize the oil adjustment. So I'm Bernard Mumford, the owner of Mumford Restoration, and today we're on a unique space. We're in the town hall in Warrington. And so this is a great project that we've worked on, is a Paul Weber Hudson River landscape. And so we are uh, really interested in talking further about the painting that we restored. And then also this mantle that is 1843 from here in Warrington. It was actually stored in a barn for many years and now it has been tongue oiled and treated and installed right under the painting, which uh, really is a unique combination. So uh, we're excited to to show that one of the pieces we restored is in Town Hall. What a cool thing. Thanks for watching.